I'm lost without you. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Ugly Tenor here for our Musicology Monday. Today we're going to talk about something that was near and dear to me when I was younger. We're going to learn a little bit about barbershop quartets. The reason is, uh, when I was in high school, uh, I was actually part of a barbershop quartet. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you get to make some great music get to meet some good people, build relationships. I think it's wonderful for that kind of stuff. And in fact, that kind of builds into the history a little bit of what we're gonna learn about today. The Barbershop Quartet, as we know it, didn't really take effect until 1940. It was almost a created style of music. And the origins of it before that kind of vary depending on who you talk to. So we're gonna explore that a little bit. It kind of starts with the barbershop itself. Now, even back in the 17th century, you had people such as Samuel Pepys writing about barbershop music as being a style of music that was amateur in nature. Because the barbershops were, even back then, considered almost like a community center where you'd go and meet, you'd make music, do other kinds of activities there. It was, it was kind of a, a general meeting place for men at that time. Now, that tradition continued in the United States, especially among African-American men. They they would gather and they would sing spirituals and they created almost a new style of music because a lot of them didn't, didn't know how to play instruments or weren't allowed to. So it was an unaccompanied, kind of closely harmonized four parts uh, usually for men, uh, and they basically created this whole new style of music that, that took effect and started to become very popular in barbershops all over the country. In fact, a journalist writing in the 1880s about how the barbershop style of music, the, you could almost find a quartet in every barbershop that you went to. And the cracking accord and that kind of close-knit four-part harmony kind of became a coined phrase that was associated with the barbershop music of the time. Now. This style of music was getting so popular, it started to be copied by white minstrel shows. Now at the time, blacks weren't allowed to perform in theaters. So there was this horrible tradition where white singers would paint themselves in blackface, part of these shows, and kind of sing some of the songs, or at least in the style of the barbershop singers at the time. And they would kind of uh, romanticize sometimes the plantation life back then, because working in a cotton field was so romantic, I guess. It kind of became part of the, the whole vaudeville style of music as well, where it was uh, very gaudy costumes, still white performers at the time. They'll even kind of reference that whole style of minstrel singing, you know, in, in the movie, uh, Singing in the Rain, which is weird because it's just so racist. <laughs> Some of the names of the songs that they would do back then were like, Shine on Harvest Moon, again referencing plantation life, but some less so like Hello My Baby and, you know, Sweet Adeline. In the 1920s, popularity began to fade a little bit, and it wasn't until 1940 when you had the Barbershop Harmony Society began to put together what's, new, what's now known as, as the Modern Barbershop Quartet. They would create rules and regulations for these contests that they would have for singing groups. And that's kind of what defined now what we know of as modern barbershop. So that's my little history for you today. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope this gets you to go do more research, maybe listen, maybe start your own barbershop quartet. Whatever it is, keep healthy, keep singing. Oh, hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, click down below. If you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, you can also follow us on our other social media channels. Links are down below, okay? If you have comments or questions, feel free to leave them. We'll get back at you, all right? In the meantime, keep healthy, keep singing. <laughs> I'm running to the door this time. <laughs> Jesus <Fuck>. Christ. <laughs>